Hello and welcome to Chili Bee Gaming. I'm Evie and today we're back with some more Starfield. And you may notice that we are starting in a different place than we ended. Because what I did after I ended my last video is I travelled around the universe to all the different cities and merchants and oh what a journey it was and I've been around here on Charybdis 3 mining copper and I've finally managed to get 150 of them so I can now go back to Mr. Robot over here wherever he is oh there we go at the crucible Tobias and give him his 150 copper and let me tell you it took some doing but we did it so let's go and see Tobias and then um, give him his copper and see if that does anything for us what is this place it's not on any surveys I know of yeah I am actually encumbered right now purely because I'm full of copper good god and let me tell you it took me so long what's that noise it's a little weird okay whatever yeah, it took me ages, so I was very glad to finish up and finally collect the last piece. Hey, dude! How ya, how ya doing? Expedition. Do not leave Crucible. Warning delivered. Alright, chill out. There you go. Manifest. Authenticated. Remuneration process. Social interaction. Terminated. Oh. Oh. Do we just get, like, coin for that? Is that it? We still have to choose a... Cho what the hell is that? Ah, that was one of the things that we saw before. Look at it. Ugh, stinky butt. Oh, I don't, I don't actually want to see that cutter again. Because it took me so long. But who do we side with? That's the question. On everybody's... What are you doing here? I just wish the societies could get along. That would be nice. Oh, I don't know. You can hear the howls at night. The defenses have to hold. A renegade. So I think the renegades are with Genghis. The believers are with Amon Amon Reyes. Amon was it Amon Reyes? Let me have a look. Rough landings. What? Oh yes. Um. Yeah. Amon Ray. Amon Renus. Renus, Amon Renus. And Franklin is the. I can't remember what they were called now. The. Pragmatists? I just. I don't know who to believe. Who to go with. Can you advise me, Mr. Roosevelt? It is still hard to accept a stranger in our midst. Hmm. I'll tell you what, let's find out about each one. Can you tell me about the pragmatists? Yes. We are unnaturally dependent on the machines of the facility for every aspect of our society. The pragmatists seek to take the reins of power ourselves. We will cultivate, work, and govern for ourselves. Perhaps, once we have demonstrated that we can govern ourselves well, we can try and bring our leadership to the settled systems. But. To do so too early, I fear, courts disaster. Well, okay, all right. Um, well, thank you. I'll, well, I I'll, guess I'll, we're done. I'll go and talk to Genghis and 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 um. I hope your arrival doesn't mean more. I'm in Renis and just see, just see who's got the. What is that? Okay, just see. So, the pragmatists basically don't want to rely upon the machines for everything. They want to kind of learn how to do things, you know, the way how man did. Okay. Um, do not Amon listen Reyes. to Genghis. He will betray you. <sighs> Can you tell me about the believers? Go on. We are the ones who believe in the mission. We are the great minds and leaders of history who can bring about a new golden age. Our numbers are admittedly few, but we make up for it in our commitment to see the dream of Crucible realized. We just want the machines fixed, so we can pass the test and be allowed to leave Crucible and try to make a difference. Well, okay, all right. 
Uh. Goodbye. All right. So they kind of want us to just fix the machine so they can pass the test, and that's that. So one wants to work for it. One wants to just fix the machines and have at it. And the other, Genghis, are you in here, my my the other strange friend? And what about you, Genghis? This world is savage, untamed. Would that I could explore it. What can you tell me about the renegades? Yeah. We are the only ones that just want to tear it all down and leave. The mission, the facility, all of it are lies. We deserve a chance to really live. I have no doubt many of us will perish or be swallowed up by the settled systems with little to show of it. But I just want the chance that every human is born with. Hmm. Well, yeah, what can you tell me about the facility, actually? Because I found some notes from you, so... You ask a question I cannot answer to your satisfaction. It is far to the east. It is where all the machines come from. Beyond that, mystery. Hmm. Well... All right. Hmm. So, and Genghis wants to tear it all down and leave. So tear it all down and leave. Don't fix anything and learn how to do things. The or will use fix everything. And... Fix everything and... Um, pass the test. I, I don't know. Maybe there's something a little bit... Because... Who cares what sick experiment Crucible was designed for? We need to escape. The thing is, maybe it's worth them learning how to do things on their own. Because in that, they'll... They'll learn how to fend for themselves. Ah, uh, hmm. <sighs> I don't know. Do a little... Well, as much as I don't really think it's fair that they're all kind of stuck here, I don't know. I just, I just, okay, all right, okay. It is still hard to accept a stranger in our midst. Okay, there we go. Let me see. Oh. Hmm. You have no idea what a reassurance it is to learn even these hints of our past. It sounds like the facility is in ruins, but perhaps the restricted section is intact? Think of the answers it must contain, and perhaps a way to help us become self-sufficient. But there is no security override code here. I, I would know. Think. Uh, maybe the beagle has a copy of the code? Well, what do you think about the notes, actually? What do you think about these notes? I think that Crucible was not our first home. Mm. And Genghis Khan destroyed it. I have told people time and time again that the renegade will be the death of us all. Mm. And they already were once. The only thing clear to me is despite the facility's efforts, we haven't grown at all. Hmm. Well... Maybe the Beagle has a copy of it? Galathea's sister ship? Yeah. Hmm. Yes, if it can be found. Certainly, they had the capability of going into the heart of the facility. If anyone can figure a manner of locating the beagle, it's Ada Lovelace. Ada I'll radio Lovelace. her and Ooh. explain the situation. I'm sure she will make every effort to assist. Okay, so, okay. Well, Ada Lovelace. Where, 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 where can we find Ada Lovelace? Where, where is she? Can we see her, please? Oh, so she's here. Oh, so she's just like outside the, maybe the main area. Okay, uh, Ada. Aha, over here. Aha. Roosevelt is the only one that really. 
Ada, hello. Oh. So we did come from a spaceship. Of course we did. And there's another out there? What was the Beagle? Why did she and the Galathea part? But all of that in time. First, we must find her. She's not in this star system. I would have spotted her. Hmm. Ah. Uh, hmm. Yeah, how do you know the Beagle isn't in the star system? Yeah. I've studied the celestial bodies for years. No trace of a spaceship in orbit here or around the other planets. Um, okay. Well, there must be some way to find it, yeah. The radio telescope. It has a default position. It resets every morning. I always wondered why point at Bell 5. Petty frustration I've dealt with for years. Perhaps the facility looks for her sister. Yes. Yes, it makes sense. I can send you the coordinates. The Bell Star system is not far. The facility communicates via a secure frequency. When you arrive, tune into that. Well, all right then. So, Bell 5. Uh, okay. Ada, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. I hear you share the secrets of the facility with someone else. Have a care, outsider. All right, well, whatever. Whatever. I don't know whether this has, like, any impact on... If you had a life set, you know. I don't know. I just think learning to do things on your own makes you kind of develop and grow as a person. Bell five. Whoa, what? Whoa, 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 what the what? Bell five. So what's this? Navigation beacon? Okay, let's 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 have a little sniff and see what this is about. Scan secure frequency, okay. Oh god. Although in bad repair, this old navigation beacon still has the projected flight plan of the Beagle. The next planned stop after Bell 5 is Zelazny 1. Alright. Whoa! Okay. Zelazny 1, eh? So, alright. Uh we go over. Do you know what we might as well do while we're here? Might as well scan this. Whoa. Extreme environment. Holy. Iron and what? Helium 3. Wow. Okay. Well. Wait. What was that? Ship. There's a ship out here? Should we go and check that out first? I know we're supposed to be on a mission, but... I'm curious. Can't help myself, you know? Can't help myself. I want to know what this ship's about. I don't have any credits. Really? Really? You did start it, so you know you can't really be having a go at me because you started something. And now you're dead. Okay. Well, like I say, you started it, and I finished it. Moi. Ha. Ha. Okay. There's a ship. The Beagle. Hey. 
Ugh, oh, really? Really? Can we just not? I'm I'm very busy here, you know. Where's the other one? Or is there only one? I can see you there. Are they dead in the water? Could we get one of these, you suppose? Should we find out? Whoa, easy, easy! Whoa, whoa! Okay. I don't think we can, okay. There you are. Let's just get rid of it. Alright, well... Huh. Interesting, very interesting. Let's get back over there. Explore the ship. Maybe there'll be answers on it? I don't know. Uh, Alright. Let's take a little peep. A little peep around. Wow. Looks like it's kind of dirty. Okay. Let's take a little look. Yeah. Ready to take off. Hello. Vasco. Okay. Ooh. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Explosive. Explosive refined Equinox. I mean, it's a Leggio. It's a Leggio, so we'll take it. Advanced Razorback. Ah, it's got a decent price tag on it, but Helium. Helium 3 dispenser. We could take this. Oh. Well. I mean, oh, 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 okay. Oh, we're all right, carry weight wise. Just want to check before we um, did anything else. Mm. Can we open this? Hello? Anything that will give us any clue? Okay. Sorry, dude. Okay. Turrets down. Thank you. Well... Anything here that'll tell us anything? Files, folders, documents... Hmm. Some old Raisin Bran cereal. Love it. Come on, Sam. Let's see if there's anything here of any note. Open this. Oops. We'll stop doing that. No, we can't open this locker. God bless it. Okay, so that's another doorway down. Where did we come from? We came from over here, didn't we? So... Let's take... Let's take a look. Let's take a look down here first, I think. Some folders? No, thank you. Ugh. Little washroom area. Okay. What's in here? Anything? More bunks? 
Is this where they all started out, do you suppose? In, like, this sort of area? I am opening. Okay, alright. Dude. Oh, that's a table. Where the hell is this robot? Oh, you're over there, are you? Action time! I mean, you didn't really do anything there, Sam, but do you know what? That's fine, buddy. That's all okay. Ugh. I could uh, really bend your ear when you got a moment. Sam, we are in the middle of a mission here, dude. What the hell? Okay, so it's through, through there, maybe? Well, hmm. Oh. Is he down here somewhere? I suppose? Malt oh, whiskey. Ooh, Beagle Lab Key. Hello. We'll take that. Thank you. What's in here? Ah. Ah. Decent value on it, I suppose. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, it's rare, we'll take it. Probably the zero wire. Don't really want that. I'm hearing a robot, but I'm not seeing one. Uh, okay. This is obviously just a hatch to get out. Okay. Um. All right. You in here? Oh yeah. Okay. Helium three. Well, we might as well take it. Why not? Don't know what it does for us, but. I think it's a fuel source for the ships, if memory serves me. Okay. Oh. Fire extinguisher. What's this? Ooh. Liquid. What about in here? I could, uh, really bend your ear when you got Oh, Samuel, please. Gonna be in here. Doctor Zhao's computer. Ah. Okay. A pox on Chiang. God's curse, Doctor Chiang. The facility is a hell full of vicious predators. The amount of resources we will need just to provide basic protection is ludicrous. With Doctor Baskin the past, it falls to me to reconfigure the experiment. Otto von Bismarck needed Amenrayness as a counterweight. And even then, he would be hard to stop. Although many say that Franken Genghis is vital to the experiment, I am not fully convinced we properly sequence we properly sequence his DNA from his descendants, and his indoctrination program. It's an embarrassment. No, Amani Reyes is the key. Okay, Freon. The captain is aware we are dangerously low on Freon. I have enough to keep all the specimens frozen for a year or more. So he keeps deprioritizing my request. Will he listen? Might as well open the door. Okay, and then um, what's this? Remote control turret. Ah, that's the turret that we obviously um, did away with. Okay. What's in here? So... Did all these people die on here, or...? Okay! Oh my god, oh my god. You investigate, dude. Okay, I think he's, I think he's done for. Ah. Oh god, I didn't want the toxin, but never mind, we've picked it up now. So... It was all some kind of... Were they trying to, like... 
mix the DNAs to make weird hybrids or something? Ah. Waste not, need not. Sure. Are there any more notes? Is there anything? Oh. I've uh, got some stuff on my mind. We need the time. Well, I don't have the time, Samuel, I'm afraid. I'm very busy here. seems that that's what they were trying to do, kind of mix the DNAs to make something, I don't know, something bizarre? Copper? Copper seems to be the key to it, doesn't it? Is this heavy? Can I carry this? Oh, I can carry this. Okay. So, what's this? Dr. Amani's computer. Okay. No one listens. I am tired of no one listening to me. We should have boarded the Galethia and taken their genetic samples. The whole plan requires all of the specimens. How can we hope to engineer the golden age with only half of the test? Hmm. Okay, bell system. Struck out. The bell system has no planets that meet our criteria. If only the mission had access to the United Colonies recon data, we wouldn't be bumbling in the dark. No one says anything but many think Captain Ladipo did the wrong thing. We celebrated a birthday of young Roberts. Well, Dr. Roberts now. And he's 65. Even if we find our planet, at this rate, none of us will be physically or mentally able to set up the experiment. True, the facility protocols theoretically need no manual intervention. But let's be realistic. When has a large piece of code ever worked without some debugging after launch? Okay. Let's open the door. Okay. Hello. Is this where we were before? Uh, yes it is. Alright, so... Last door then. Okay, so... Hmm. Alright. So it's something over this way? control interface. Well, there's no more turrets, so it doesn't really matter, does it? Okay, any more notes here? Anything to tell us anything? Okay. Okay. I don't know where we're putting that helium through, by the way. That's kind of concerning. Do you know, I thought there was a person sat there then. That kind of scared me a little bit, I'm not going to lie. That's okay, anything, anything? Any notepads, any... <gasps> Here we go. Last conversation with Dr. Chang. Please don't go. We can do the experiment here. The facility has everything we need. Our protocols say we are looking for planets with a 70% plus confidence level. The facility, barely 50%. And how many planets have we surveyed? On Earth, they didn't know what we would find. My friend, we are getting old. Too old. If we want to have any chance to start the experiment ourselves, the facility is it. When I was given my command, I swore an oath to adhere to the mission. Dr. Chang, you realize you are a mutineer. You've abandoned us. The perfect is the enemy of the good. If you can't see that, then I guess there's nothing more to be said. Wow. So I'm guessing that they were running out of uh, options to find the perfect, perfect, we'll say perfect in, in, um, in, all right, chill out. Good grief. In, um, quotes, quote unquote, perfect. Planet. Okay. And uh, maybe they decided that here was the best place? I don't know. 
Just seems a little, um, a little odd, doesn't it? All right, what's this? Beagle Data Core. Access level admin. Restrictions not applicable. All security systems disabled. Ooh, Crimson Fleet incident. There were three of them. Captain Lapido offered them everything we could spare, but no amount of pleading worked. The hostile ships are destroyed, but at what cost? The Beagle is badly damaged. The hull breaches have been sealed, but we lost about half our remaining crew. We have one last jump. If we cannot find something in the Zelazny system and fast, we're doomed. Zelazny report. We didn't even have time to scan all the planets here. Our engines are dead. The captain, he had enough. We started the mission with such optimism, but it's been setback after setback. There are four of us. Dr. Zhao keeps adjusting the experiment program to work without the Galathea. I told her we've already lost 20% of the genetic material. I ask who should be prioritised, but I fear she no longer, she's no longer in her right mind. I dreamed of having my own command, but not like this. Final entry. Day 120 of being adrift. No more food, no more water. I'm the last that's left. I don't know how long I have. Beagle's mission has failed. If Dr. Chang or anyone from the Galathea reads this, you were right. We should have all stayed with you on the facility. I'm disabling all security so you can grab whatever you need for salvage and recovery. I'm ashamed to report that all of our genetic material did not survive. I pray the mission continues on the facility. God have mercy on us all. Damn. Okay. Okay, we've got the code. Let's, um... Let's go, I suppose. I mean... So where are all the... Don't ask that question. We don't want to know that question, the answer to that question. No, no, no. See, there's blood here. Okay! Okay. I thought these were supposed to be turned off, these security systems, and apparently they're not. Well, do you know what? Do you know what? We're just going to get out. We're going to go. And then, um, well, present the... Is it good news? Would you say good news? The news. The news being that, um, yeah. Everybody is dead. The scientists who decided to come up with this little experiment are all dead. So, yeah. I wonder what's in that facility though, I'm very curious. Can we, can we, come on, Bosco, we're going. You got time for a quick chat? Samuel, appreciate it when you're able. we are exceptionally busy, my dear. We have things to do. Let's just reload. I have a feeling there's going to be some trouble ahead. And while there's moonlight and music and love and romance, let's face the music and dance. All right. Okay, what's, what's, what's kicking off here? What is kicking off? Something's kicking off, isn't it? What's your problem? What's going on? Oh, God. Oh, dear. All right. Uh, hello. Oh, thank God you're here. Hello. Genghis has issued an ultimatum. He will attack the Pragmatist Society with everything he's got, unless you meet with him. Oh, right. I fear Amon Arenas is siding with Amon him too. Arenas, that's how we you say are it. on the brink of war. A war I will not shrink from. Not when we are so close to victory. Uh, is a peaceful resolution possible? Yes. Doubtful. Genghis and I have a long history. Always at cross purposes. Damn. But worryingly, Amon Arenas may be with him. It's possible... We can convince her to back down. Well, yeah, why is he doing this? I he think knows know, you but... have seen the facility. And if you have been there, then anything is possible. So he threatens violence to ensure his voice is heard. I guess I better go and meet with I him then. I will send a message. We are meeting under flag of truth. Something sacred to us. All right. So, no matter how much he vexes you, keep your gun holstered. Well, of course. 
Okay. All right. Well, I think we are going to leave it there for today, folks. Next time we will attend this little meeting and um, see if we can resolve this peacefully. That would be the best thing to do. Or I hope we can do that anyway. So until next time, be safe, be good, and look after yourselves.